Welcome to my presentation on my Moodle menu system. I made this video so that my students get a good idea what to expect from the Moodle portion of my class. So let's get started. Here's a picture of the menu system with the first two unit headings showing. Your first view of my Moodle class will be very similar to this picture. If you are in Psych 150, this lecture is extremely similar, but if you are in another class, then it will relate to the view, but not to the exact content. When you enter the Moodle class, you will see that I have a menu system, but each instructor is different, so the design of your other classes may not be the same as mine. This presentation will describe what you can expect from my classes. When you first access the class, all the sections that are available will be shown, and you can scroll down and pick a specific unit to view. However, that opposes the menu system, which is meant to reduce that Moodle scroll of death. So you should use the menu system and click on the specific unit link you want to visit. Once you click on the menu item, the only section that you will see is the one you picked. This will stop that endless scroll of death that comes near the end of the semester when all units are available for viewing. This is a close-up menu view of the menu uh, that will allow you to move around in the class without that Moodle scroll of death. So if the section you click on is active, you will jump directly to that section. Also, notice the yellow color. The yellow color tells you what section you need to be working on. I'll change the yellow blocks to indicate what you should be working on during the semester, but if I forget, the due dates for homework for each of the blocks is listed in the block. Notice that I made a picture of my summer class of 2015, so the dates in this picture are not the same as you will see when you look at your own menu system for your semester and year. There's also a page in the course information that lists all of the units, and their due dates, as well as other important dates during your semester at the college. Those other dates would include things like the last date to withdraw from the class and the vacation schedule. So be sure to check out that page in the course information. The announcements and general forums are in the first block. You can go to it by clicking on the link for the announcements and common forums at the top of the menu area as the red arrow is showing you. Announcements is a forum for the instructor to post information about the class. In my face-to-face -face class, I often post what happened in the class that day so students who missed class will know what was covered. In the internet classes, the posts are often reminders about what is coming up, like tests. Whenever the instructor posts within the announcements area, there is also an automatic email sent to each active member of the class so you get an email and the announcements uh, which means in other words there's no reason to miss important information posted in the announcements access your emails at least twice a week in order for both internet and face-to-face -face classes in order to keep track of information notice the circle at the bottom the other forums that are listed here in, in the red circle are for students to talk to each other if they have a desire to do so. And notice that there is a link on the right that says tests. This is a way to navigate to the next section of the class without using the menu system. There's also a small jump to box at the bottom of the screen, which you cannot see in this picture, which allows more navigation. The down arrow on that jump to box will show you all the active units that the instructor has made available. It's just another way to move around in the class. Notice the gray boxes on the left. This is the way your class should look when you first log into it. Instructors can make these blocks available or hide them and they can put them in a different order that they feel is appropriate for their class. So the activities block will get you access to other areas of the class. There's uh, no news at this particular time, so the latest news, there's nothing showing there, but when there is something posted in announcements, you'll see the three latest news items in that block. The link called grades will show you your grades in the class with any feedback your instructor has added. With the quick mail link, 
you can send an email right from Moodle to your instructor, but to see the replies, you'll need to log into your school email account. The instructor will see your email sent from QuickMail as if it came from your normal school account. The instructor will then send any replies back to your normal school email account. You cannot get replies in Moodle. Now I'm going to click on the menu item called Course Documents and let's look at that particular area. So I clicked on the menu system link called Course Documents and then scrolled down to see the entire block. My information is listed in this section as well as links for the CLA library and the distance education resources. However, the more important link is the intro to site course information as the red arrow is showing. If you are in a different class, it will be called something appropriate to that class. Each class has a course information link in it. <clears throat> we will look at that link next, but I also want you to notice the partial textbook link underneath it. I give you access to the first couple of chapters of the text. You must have your book by the time we get through the information I provide. I cannot provide the entire book for free. The book is copyrighted and I don't own it. I realize that sometimes the bookstore may have issues getting texts and some students order from a source other than our bookstore and may have delays getting their text. Keep in mind that if you order a book from a source other than our bookstore, it is not an excuse for late or missing work when your book has not arrived in time for class. However, I give you a small amount of time to get that textbook by giving you access to the first couple of chapters. You can also see that there are links on the left hand side and the right hand side at the top and bottom corners of the pages. We will look at those areas in a minute. For now, let's look at the course information. So where the big red arrow is, I'm going to click in that arrow, arrow area and bring up that particular information the course information. When you click on the link for course information, you will see this page. First, the syllabus will appear for you to read. Whichever of my classes you are in, the information in this online book-like display is very important. You need to click on the other chapters of this book on the left shown in this, in this picture to see the rest of the material. Each of the links in that table of contents includes important information. One of your first assignments is to send me an email that says that you read all the information. The table of contents may appear on the left or the right, but each line in the table of contents is another chapter that you need to read. Now let's go back to that menu system. In the top portion of the, of the menu, there's a link called Access Tests. When you click on that access tests, this is what you will see in the circle at the bottom. When the tests become available, they will appear right here in this area. You will click on the link to the test and take it online. There's also a quiz in every unit, and the test questions come from those quizzes. You can take the quizzes as many times as you want during the semester, your highest score during the semester will be the score that counts on the quizzes. Tests, however, can only be taken once and they are timed. You can get more information on the tests and quizzes when you read the course information section on tests and quizzes. Now let's look at the information in the link called First Day Activities. This section in the class is information about the first day activities and how important it is to do them. You must complete the activity your professor has established as the first assignment. Each professor will have something different. My class has an email and a discussion forum for you to do. You will be dropped from the class if you do not do the first assignment in the time designated. The date they must be completed is posted in this section as well. When you are done listening to this video, Click on the first day assignments and follow the, the directions that are given. This is a federal requirement because some schools were getting federal financial aid funds for imaginary students. Now everyone suffers because of their fraudulent use of funds. 
Now let's look at an actual learning unit. You can see one of the learning units on this page. Obviously it is for my introduction class, but the basics are the same in all of my classes. Notice two sections. The first section is the learning resources section. In that section will be all the items needed to learn the material for your quizzes and the test. The second section is the graded homework area. There are three items that will be graded. There is a quiz for every single unit. There will be a number of discussions and writing assignments during the semester, but not one for every unit. Some units will have both a discussion and a writing assignment, and some will only have one of those items. Near the end of the class, there will only be a quiz and nothing else to turn in for the last few units to get a grade. If you like to work ahead, I will have the work for the next week available as well as the current work. I will always post one module ahead of the current work. You can plan for weddings and other activities which may take you away from school. You can then complete your work ahead of schedule so you do not have to worry about getting it done while you are out of town. Other instructors may show all the modules at one time and some instructors may show only one at a time. In my class, Module 3, for instance, will appear when we are working on Module 2. The learning objectives in the unit are available to help you determine what you will be learning in the section. The PowerPoint is the most useful tool that you will find for answering quiz questions. Let me inform you that my PowerPoints are very text laden. This is because the Americans with Disabilities Act requires me to help students with a hearing difficulty. The students who sit in class that cannot hear well will be able to read the material in the PowerPoints that I display on the board. The audio lectures will help those students who cannot see well. This allows my class to be ADA compliant. For the rest of you, the verbose PowerPoints and audio lectures are useful for missed classes and reviews. The crossword puzzles are just for fun, not for grade. Memory is a very funny thing. Most students like multiple choice questions because they can recognize the answer that appears in front of them. Most students also hate fill in the blank questions because it requires recall rather than recognition. Recall requires a much better understanding of the material. If you can recall the answers, then you truly know the material well. Crosswords test your recallability. If you can do the crossword puzzle, you really know the material. Now you know I will include PowerPoints, crossword puzzles, and transcribed and audio lectures as much as possible to help you learn the material. I also provide amusing materials such as sound bites, songs, and videos that I hope will help you as well. My general psychology class is the most prepared, but I am working on the other classes as well. At the bottom of the learning resources section, there's always a link to the quiz for that unit. The link is for you to print out the quiz. You can then find the answers and mark them on the printed quiz before you take the online quiz. Your electronic online quiz will then tell you what you got wrong and what was correct. Mark the wrong answers on your paper and find the answers, the new answer, and try it again. Since you can take quizzes as often as you want to, I expect that you will get a hundred on every single quiz. Each quiz is only worth half a point, however, so they are really for you to learn the material. Repetition helps with learning. The more you repeat the quizzes, the more you will learn. Also, those questions in a slightly modified form will appear on the tests. The tests are open book and open notes as well, so you can use these printouts to help you when you take the test. Here we are back at the announcements section again. At the top of the screen, I want you to notice the links that say My Home 2015 FA Psych 150N and then announcements. Each one of those is a link to take you somewhere. If you click on the section that describes the class, the 2015 Fall Psych 150N or whatever it is for your particular semester and year, 
uh, you will be taken back to the start of the class. Or you could click on the My Home link to go back to the page that lists all the classes that you have in Moodle. Let me click on the link for the main page of the course, uh, in this case Psych 150N, and you will see that we are back at the beginning of the class. Let, so let's see what the forum section looks like and how forums work. Uh, we will click on the forum, which is shown by the red arrow. You never have to do this in actuality. In each unit's graded homework section, you will find a link to the relevant forum for that unit. So you never have to do this. However, I want to show you how this works. So if I clicked on that, now I am at a page that lists every forum that has been activated. You can see the announcements at the top and the other two forums in which students can communicate together. And then the icebreaker forum is the next one. The icebreaker forum is the first forum that you will need to do for a grade. It also sets your attendance in the internet classes. Logging into the class does not mean you are registered as active in the class. You must do the assignment. In face-to-face -face classes, the attendance is set by your actual attendance in the classroom. Notice on the learning forums, you can, cons you can select whether you are subscribed to the forum. That's where the red arrow is showing. This simply means that you will receive an email each time a student posts to the forum. Now this creates havoc in some students' email inboxes. You may want to change the subscribed from yes to no. You're always subscribed to the announcements because that is one of the ways that the instructor communicates with the class. In this slide, we will see a discussion forum that is open. You can see my original post that's in the red arrow. You can also see some of the posted replies from the students in the blue circle. The important link to keep in mind here is the reply link in each of those messages. And you can see those in the little circles. You must reply to my original post and then you have to reply to one other student to get full credit for a discussion. Also notice the second reply in this particular picture as shown by the big blue arrow. This reply got no credit because a reply must have five sentences to count for a grade. Remember that when you make your own posts. To get a grade, the post must have five sentences or more. Let me show you what it looks like when you click on a reply. When you click on reply to a post, you will get a page that looks similar to this one. The subject is already filled in for you. The big white box is where you will post your comments. Remember, again, five sentences minimum if you want it to count toward a grade. And then you will click the blue box that says post to forum. Face-to-face -face students. I like making discussions online rather than in class because it is not fair to grade participation in class for the introverts. The introverts are not as outspoken as the extroverts, so of course they will not participate as easily. Also, when you are asked a question in class, whether you're an introvert or extrovert, the adrenaline begins to flow. You may know the answer, but with your blood pressure up and pounding in your ears, you may not be able to express it properly. An online discussion allows you to think about your answers and put it into a document and massage it a while before you place it in the white box and post it to the forum. Now let's look, take a quick look at the way your grades look in Moodle. By the way, you may hear Moodle called My Courses. My Courses and Moodle are the same thing. A car can be both a Ford and a Mustang. In this analogy, Moodle is the Ford and my courses is the Mustang. Here we are at the grades as it appears in the new uh, My Courses Moodle. Grades are listed here in categories because that's the way I set them up. You can see tests and essays and quizzes and forums. As the grades are posted you will see your total points at the top of the screen increase. You will also see a percentage score. 
the percentage score does not mean as much as the total points in my class. Notice, I have 100 points in my class. 100 points total. That means in my class, when you reach 60 points, you have passed the class with a D. When you reach 70 points, you will have passed the class with a C. When you reach 80 points, you have a B. And when you hit 90 points, you have an A. I will always post an explanation of your grades for essays, which will make the grade book very large. However, the explanations are very important for your learning. I will tell you your mistakes, and with that information, you should not make the same mistake again. You will get a zero on any item assignment you do not do. That zero will kill your percentage. But in many instances, you will be able to make up that grade with other work. For instance, I have 24 points in essays in my class, but only 12 points count towards your final grade. So a zero on the first essay can be made up on later essays. I suggest you do every essay until you get your full 12 points. When you have your full 12 points, there's no need to do any more essays. There's no extra credit in essays. Be certain to read the essay requirements in the course information book. That's it for this presentation. If you have questions, send me an email or come by my office. Have a great semester.